New at 6, the end of a treasured tradition that's been feeding Rhode Island families for decades. Zaccanini's is closing its doors at the end of the week. The owners are retiring 65 years after the bakery first fired up its ovens. From the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, Eyewitness News reporter Nicole Estefan is in Cranston. After more than five decades of serving up sweets, the bakery will serve its last pastry this coming Sunday. John, how are you? The owner of Zaccanini's Bakery has used a long lines, early hours, and the sweeter things in life. We'll see you tomorrow. But not goodbyes. It's our livelihood, it's our life, it's part of the community, it's... Uh, it a, took a lot of dedication. Yeah. Joseph Zaccanini and his wife Donna have built a life around this Cranston Bakery in the family for more than six decades. And now Joe has decided it's time for him to close the doors. This I mean, is family. Yeah, I, uh, you know, put it off as long as I could. Now I'm 72 years old and it's about time because I can do everything in this place blindfolded after 54 years. As he rolls into a new life of retirement, his loyal customers line up to get a last taste of what has drawn them here for years. They got the best chocolate cream pie, so I, you know, I'm going to have to find somewhere else to go. Or maybe I'll have to stop baking. <laughs> sort of put tears in your eyes on the food, the bakery, the goods and everything else and the people. They're very good. From the cupcakes to pizza strips, this has been a family affair. Three generations work behind this counter. It's just, it's kept us all together. Now it is time for a new chapter. But Joe says the faces he will leave behind will be missed. DeLuise's Bakery will now be expanding, opening up a second location at this shop. We're told it may be open within a month. In Cranston with the Mobile Newsroom, Nicole Estefan, Eyewitness News.